Hi, this is Phil Shapiro in Tacoma Park. I am making the screencast on an old MacBook from 2007. And I just, I've installed Linux, Linux Mint 18 XFCE. And uh, I'm using Simple Screen Recorder. And I wanted to create the screencast just to show you that it's possible to revive this old MacBook, give it a couple years more use. Uh, Linux Mint 18 is supported into, until 2021. So this 2007 MacBook, it could see a couple more years of really useful life in the hands of a student, um, a refugee, a teacher, anybody. Uh, somebody that works at a hospital. So we have the latest Google Chrome, Chrome 52. Let's see how fast it runs. Starting up Chrome 52, here it is. Check this out. It's booting up. Come on, Chrome. Oops, there it is. So this is Chrome 52. And um, let's go over to one of my favorite websites, opensource.com. And you can see this surfs fast because it has, uh, this computer has a Core 2 Duo processor two gigabytes of memory. So it sorts nice and fast. Um, I can use, if I want to zoom in or zoom out of the browser, I use control minus and control plus rather than command minus and command plus. So you, if you're a Macintosh user, you have to get used to using the control key rather than the command key when you're using Linux. Let's see what else is on this computer. Let me minimize that. Oh look, LibreOffice. Let's see how fast that starts up. Oh, I love LibreOffice. Here it is. It's starting up. And it's pretty pretty responsive. Here we are, the word processor. And this is LibreOffice, the very, very current version, I'm pretty sure, 5.1 or 5.5.1. .5 so that's really quite rather current. And um, um, we got the Firefox on here, sweet. I also put on Tux Paint. Check this out under education, Tux Paint. Mmm, I love Tux Paint. Here it is. And that's that's nice for children as young as three. Love, love to do tux paint. So um, while I have you here, let me just show you. If you have a story to share about your own open source journey, you can search Google for open source my Linux story. My Linux story open source. And you get right here to the open source website, my Linux story. And on the opensource.com website, you'll be able to see a bunch of different people's personal stories here. You can click through, they have a whole collection about how different people first came to open source. Then if you want to share your story, you submit an article. You can send it to open at opensource.com and here's all the instructions. And they love to print or publish articles about how you came to open source. Different people have different ways. You might have had a mentor, you might have read about it, you might have had your curiosity peaked at a conference. So this is Phil Shapiro. I wanted to show you just how nice this old MacBook works. Um, and I should mention, I got the Wi-Fi working nicely. Um, I had to look that up on Google and I did an in install the driver. And it took about five or 10 minutes to install the driver. So it's a slight technical skill required there. And I didn't even try getting the eyesight working. The, built-in webcam because I have an external Logitech and I love to use my Logitech. So um, I got a little bit lazy on that, but I think there might be a way of getting that working, but that's more like an hour or two's work. Um, and so I just avoided that. But anyway, Phil Shapiro over and out. Hope this is useful.